Back in 2017, you became part of a media frenzy when Ted Cruz liked a tweet of you in a film called a dick for two shortly after crusading against porn stars. How did you hear the news that this had happened and what was your reaction? I didn't really hear much about it while it was happening. It was a few days later. Uh, I was dealing with the aftermath of hurricane Irma. It hit our Mm -hmm. area And I didn't have power. Um, I think we had cell service, but I just did not have power. So I lost the battery on my phone. Um, And we went somewhere to pick up some water, I think, for uh, to drink. And they had a charging station. So I plugged my phone in. I charged up my phone. And when I turned it on, I had hundreds of voicemails of people trying to get a hold of me. I popped on my Twitter and Twitter pretty much said, you need to put filters on your mentions because there's too many. So I started digging and this is like, like days. I want to say it's like three days later after this happened. Um, It, it was just, it had already kind of like blown out by Mm -hmm. the time I got into it. So it, it was kind of disappointing that I didn't, and I didn't have any PR people at the time to help with any of that promotion work. Um, I got hundreds and hundreds of uh, reporters calling me and they're like, well, what did you think about Ted Cruz liking one of your videos? And it was, it was one, I hated that it was a pirated video on some tube site. Um, back yeah, then I was kind of against Pornhub, which I didn't mm-hmm. understand that Pornhub and reality Kings were pretty much the same thing. Uh, there was, uh, the, the part like where he was against porn stars. He's against porn, uh, toys. He's against masturbation that you shouldn't masturbate or diddle your private parts for pleasure other than pro- procreating and, and going to the doctor and getting it examined. But I, uh, I don't know it like, and then he has to blame it on one of his staffers. I just, it, it was all just a weird, very weird experience. <laughs> yeah. <for sure. laughs> yeah. And you know, just another example of those who crusade like the hardest against porn are generally like some of its biggest consumers. It's just so frustrating because we have so much, you know, negative PR around our industry and so many people like fighting to ban porn and, and, and all that, but like everybody watches it. Like everybody does. And it's just like, it's human nature. (laughs) Yeah. It's just, Oh God. So frustrating. Um, you've been with your husband for over 20 years. Um, Mm -hmm. you've said in interviews that you don't have much sex off camera. Uh, why is that? Uh, because there's not a whole lot of time left. (laughs) Uh, You have so much sex on camera. (laughs) Yeah. They, they call it a money shot for a reason. So Mm -hmm. when my husband's a performer and I'm a performer, granted, um, my performances can be faked, if you will, a little bit easier than his. Uh, and I do enjoy facials in my videos. So the bigger the cum shot, the more I can swallow. Um, I enjoy it. And it is the money shot. It's what we're kind of known for. Um, Luke, my husband, he was a big Peter North fan. So he liked those ropes that he would throw on a girl's face or on her chest. And for porn, that's what I kind of grew up watching, grew up watching, Mm -hmm. um, was like Peter North and like facials and like, I guess, Bukkake scenes, which Mm -hmm. I'm just now realizing (laughs) (laughs) Um, maybe why I have the uh, cum fetish that I do. So we shoot two to three times a week um, for our own productions, depending on models, 
um, that we might have. And then we're shooting content for my only fans. And then we're also shooting uh, custom work. So once you start adding all those hours up on top of working out and cleaning house and cooking food and grocery shopping, that you really don't have any more time in the day yeah. <laughs> to do anything else. And you're exhausted at the end of the day that you really just want to lay in your pool, enjoy yourself and go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. I relate. Definitely. I mean, I don't shoot scenes with my husband or shoot sex scenes at all, but I have a child and I have a full-time job. So <laughs> I get the whole, like very tired at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Um, so does your husband also work with other performers as well, or does he only work with you? He works with other performers for our own content, uh, for our own uh, website. He doesn't work for other production companies. He's pretty much just stuck to us because working mm-hmm. two to three days out of the week um, is, I mean, really all he's willing to do uh, yeah. for our own stuff. You got to space out those, those cum shots. 